okay now it is time for us to see how to create purchasing organization okay purchasing organization is a very important uh, organization on organization uh, object in uh, material management okay for those who are new to sap purchasing organization is very sap specific in other erp systems i don't think we have something called purchasing organization and uh, this purchasing organization will not correspond to any uh, real life um, uh, organizations that you may have in a company the closest that you can match is a purchasing department the purchasing department that you have in a company which is responsible to purchase the goods for a company or corporate so that's the closest relation that a purchasing organization uh, SAP term can uh, match but then again they, there are some uh, differences between uh, typical purchasing department and SAP SAP specific uh, purchasing organization which I'm going to explain to you now okay, let's understand what is the various types of purchasing activities that may happen in a in a company the the first one is uh, the most famous one in big com corporates uh, central purchasing whereby uh, a purchasing department located in the headquarters of a corporate will do a central purchasing on behalf of all the subsidiaries company 1 company 2 and company 3 which are subsidiaries okay uh, so there will not be any separate purchasing activities that will happen in a in individual companies it has to be procured in a central location in the HQ in the headquarters and then transported to the respective companies so when the the available quantity falls below a, a certain threshold these companies must intimate the purchasing department in the HQ to actually replenish their goods so there's a two-way communication one is to request for the goods and the other is to send the goods from HQ to the respective companies this is called central purchasing where the individual companies will not have any separate purchasing department or will not be allowed to buy anything central and anything on their own without informing their headquarters so in terms of accountability and control this central purchasing is implemented in corporates where they believe they need to have a, a centralized control to actually control the purchasing activities because purchasing activities involves huge money for a corporate so there are two reasons why a central centralized purchasing uh, process is actually used the first one is to actually for security purposes so the individual companies may not be allowed to buy anything on their own and the second reason is to get uh, bulk discounts for example if uh, if the if they are buying stationery for company one two and three or any other goods for manufacturing purposes they will get bulk discounts they'll get discounts in other words if they buy in bulk instead of buying uh, 10 or 20 uh, say for example tires if they buy uh, the tires in thousands they might get uh, bulk discounts from the vendors so that's the second reason why they have uh, centralized purchasing activity so the other type of purchasing activity is company specific purchasing whereby the individual companies are allowed to buy for their own consumption okay they don't have to rely on the headquarters purchasing department which is a centralized purchasing department to procure for their own use they are allowed to buy individually so that is called company specific purchasing and the third one is the plant specific purchasing the p1 2 and 3 and so forth is referring to plants sorry i didn't say that earlier just take note that p1 uh, what I'm trying to say here is that in a centralized purchasing environment the the plants belonging to the companies will raise the uh, goods request to the company and then to the headquarters okay 
specifically in a company specific purchasing all the plants will inform the uh, required goods to the central purchasing department in the company so that the central purchasing department within the company will order the goods for them in a plant specific purchasing the individual plants are allowed to buy goods as and when they wish to procure so the, they don't have to rely on the purchasing department in the company at the plant level at the factory level they can actually create a purchasing department and order goods for their own plant use so this is more decentralized this is a most decentralized uh, scenario whereby the plants are allowed to buy on their own so they don't have to rely on other plants to actually order goods okay these are different types of purchasing uh, activities that exists in any corporate so uh, due to these various kind of uh, purchasing activities that we have in order to actually uh, map these scenarios to sap we need something called purchasing organization purchasing organization is will represent these purchasing departments okay we represent it just a code given to these purchasing departments so that these can be maintained in sap so how do we create a purchasing organization let's go here you can create a purchasing organization under enterprise structure definition materials management maintain purchasing organization let's click okay new entries in our example we're going to have um, okay in our sun limited example i'm not going to have a centralized purchasing i'm going to have a simple one which is company specific purchasing one purchasing organization for all the plants within the company okay as simple as that so um so i'm going to have uh, uh i'm sorry um i told you i'm going to use this right company code specific purchasing but um, if i use that i cannot differentiate between different purchasing organizations because there's only one purchasing organization is involved let us use this whereby one purchasing organization will be assigned to exactly one plant so that we can have at least two or three purchasing organization for each plant and see the difference okay so i'm going to create a purchasing organization called ny and why so that refers to save changes refers to this plant new york factory and uh, put ny new york purchasing and another purchasing organization for san francisco san francisco purchasing and another one for houston houston purchasing <coughs> so i have created three purchasing organizations one for each plant here okay so coming back to my where is my purchasing organization okay so i have created one purchasing organization for one plant but i haven't assigned the purchasing organization to the plant yet i have just created the purchasing organization so now we need to do the assignment okay i have just created a purchasing organization now we need to assign it to the respective plants so where do we do that we have to go to assignment materials management assign purchasing organization okay we will not be using this because this has to be used only 
if you are using this as you can see here assign purchasing organization to company code okay but I will explain the concepts of it only one purchasing organization can be assigned to one company code so the relationship is one to one okay as you can see here one purchasing organization can be assigned to only one company code it's one to one okay it's not one to many or many to one it's only one to one so let me um, write it down here purchasing organization relationship company code one to one and this one assign purchase the organization to plant is actually many to many many purchasing organizations can be assigned to many plants okay as you can see here one purchasing organization is assigned to many plants right and at the same time the same plant can have a different purchasing organization as well so it's many to many you get what I mean so I'll write down here relationship to plants many to many okay and how about this purchasing owner in relation to relationship to hang on a second all right this one there's no relationship here because when you assign uh, purchasing organization to plants so by assigning the purchasing organization to plant the system will create a link between the company code and purchase organization via the plant so using this option here you can actually represent this as well these two okay get what I mean using this option here you can actually represent this too because if you use this option here you can assign a purchasing organization to more than one company code it is assigned to only one company code only as you can see here there is no way you can create a new entry to assign a purchasing organization to more than one company code it is static there is no new entries here right so what do you do you have to use this option here okay to actually assign the purchasing organization directly to the plants bypassing the company code and using the plant and company code relationship the system will know which company code the purchasing organization will indirectly connect to for example if I assign the purchasing organization to plant P3 okay something like this here using this option here purchasing organization I enter the purchasing organization and the plant directly I assign it to the plant okay so the system will know what which company code this purchasing organization will refer to because of the implicit assignment can you see the indirect assignment from p3 to company code 1 so in other words if you want to maintain this relationship please use this screen here okay this option don't use this and this and this is used in advanced topics we are not going to discuss that here 
so as to make things as simple as possible we are going to use this two only but in our case since we are using only one purchasing organization to one plan one to one relationship we are going to use this I'm going to create an entry my plan is NY plant is NY as well and SF and SF HO and HO okay now I have assigned one purchasing organization to each plant here we are done we will see the exact usage of purchasing organization in the subsequent topics one of the most important use is for this purpose here creating purchasing info records because for each and every this year creating purchasing info records is using this option here this is where we maintain vendor prices for each and every material because different vendors will supply the materials in different prices so we need to maintain this uh, price information from the vendors for each and every material so we can we can um, enter different prices per vendor according to the different purchasing organizations because there can be a situation whereby the same vendor could be supplying a material for a different price to New York factory for a different price to San Francisco factory and Houston factory and all comes from the same vendor for the same material that can happen so when that happens you can use the purchasing organization entries here to en enter the material prices for each vendor so the price of the material can be different for each purchasing organization although the vendor is same okay that's one of the use but the main use is the main use of purchasing organization is to represent this fact here whether it's a centralized purchasing or company code specific purchasing plant specific purchasing okay let me stop the